Look who is in the kitchen. I am so glad that Chef Bud is back in town and we've got so much to catch up with and we'll talk about what we're making. But love be a lady these. tonight, my good friend. Yes, oh my gosh. You, you know had what? a little wedding. Yes, and you know what that was from? I went to see the Rat Pack review. Really? It was called The Rat Pack is Back. And it was fabulous. There was Frank, the Dean Martin looked so much like Dean Martin and really? sounded like it was amazing. How about Sammy? He was good. He the Dean the Frank Thompson and Sammy had to kind of squint a little bit to get them. Yeah. But the Dean Martin straight straight up. He well, was you, fabulous. You don't have to squint at this. I want to bring up a few pictures and we want to talk about the Oh yeah. There's here. the whole there's the whole Anderson fam out at the Vegas sign. Now what we did was my daughter in the white Haley got married and there's her husband right next to Mrs. Chef Bud. There they are. Oh, that's so And they great. got married at the Elvis Chapel. And when she walked out, she raised her bouquet up as they were playing the closing tunes to Elvis's concerts. It was very Oh, cool. nice. Yes, yes, it was very. And there we are. This was actually Friday night at the reception. Um, we had a reception. Pastor Howie came and blessed the wedding. And, and uh, we had a good time. We had a good Howie time. Howie Batson? Yes, sir. Ooh, yes, you roll big. Yeah, that's my pastor, man. You know, so, no, no, so, not every day. I Howie know, Batson folks, rolls into Vegas. I Vegas. did both his daughter's wedding. <laughs> so, we, yeah, we had a good time. So, yeah. It was a good time. Very and good. We uh, were very fortunate. I had so many. I want to tell everybody, I had so many of you that have went on my page, liked things, talked to my wife and stuff. We'll put some butter in there. It'll be fine. Right. Um, talked to my wife and stuff, or talked about my wife and my daughter. And we sure appreciate all you guys giving yeah, us some love. Yeah, um, your wife is doing better now. Just she's doing a lot better. better. Yeah, she's uh, kind of getting back to normal. So we're uh, good. We're doing well, she's been in our thoughts and prayers. Well, we appreciate that. You uh, know, that's the thing. You were saying something earlier as I came on. You know what the deal is, folks? Your family. And that's right. And that's how these folks treat you. And I, that's why I love them so much. So anyways, we're going to do a dish here. I've got a uh, some garlic, some soy sauce, and then I added a little bit of sesame oil. Then we're going to add a little fresh ginger to this, okay? So what this is going to do is this is going to go over our ahi tuna, okay? We're making tuna toast today. You know I love me some yes, tuna. Yes, we're going to make tuna toast. And we've got a couple things going on that you were asking me about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, we did a quick pickle on some onions, on a red onion, so we can use that over the top. So how do you do a quick pickle? Okay, so we, what we do is we take some um, rice wine vinegar, okay? okay. And we uh, take some sugar and water, warm the sugar and water up. And uh, I'll show you right here. What happens is you put that into... Put the red onion in there and just let it set, move it around a little bit. You could do this for up for two hours. It comes out really, really nice. But okay. the thing about it is, is you want to get a quick little pickle on there so that you're, I got the wrong one on here, so that you uh, get a real nice kind of pungent flavor to it. Okay? okay. Very good. Then we're making an egg sauce here, which is basically the yolks of an egg. And then we emulsify some butter into it. And that thins it out. Okay. And that'll, otherwise, you got to do it a double boiler so the eggs don't cook. You want to kind of keep them where they're like a sauce, okay? And then we're going to add to that a little bit of uh, sriracha. Ooh. So we're going to have a little sriracha sauce or a little sriracha flavor to it. Now, and you ahead. love this. You can stuff. squirt that in there if you, you want. You love this. Stuff. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so how, how much? Just about a table. There you go. That's good. Nice so you see, see how it, it just kind of goes together like that. And you want to kind of keep it where it stays. There, that's beautiful. See how that kind of stays all nice and creamy rather than cooking off like an egg? Yeah. So, and this is going to go over the top of okay. our tuna when we're done, Easy okay? Enough. Now, the, the, this is kind of components, okay? So you have this here, and we've taken our ahi, and I've cut it into cubes. I don't know if you can see that. But we're just going to top it with this, mm. okay? Then we're just going to stir it around. And then we're going to let this set for a second. Add some salt and pepper, okay? And what you're trying to do is, you just want to get, see, I don't know if you see that. That's nice. Yeah, it's okay. got a good little. You got the garlic glaze, in there. You got the ginger in there. You got all these things working. And we're going to put this on toast. And we'll, we've got some avocados. When we come all back, right. I'll show you the avocados. All right, we'll be back right after this. We're back to the table. Finally, with Chef Bud <laughs> Anderson. Yeah, after a while back.